What is happening champions? We are back in the Master of Derp, the SU-152, for another video on how overpowered this fucking cannon is. I had so much fun the first time, I decided to roll Where out with it again. Now? Got my 8 shots of premium, 10 of standard, 8 of high explosive, and the 152mm cannon. And this match goes very well, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. But uh, when you roll up in this tank and you've got your premium and your 152mm uh, cannon, most of your matches are going to go very well. <laughs> As I said before, this tank needs a nerf. It, it must have it. It's just so goddamn ridiculous. And yeah, you'll have some of those matches where you get completely dominated because of your rate of fire or your lack of maneuverability. But, you know, you're still pretty fast. And uh, your rate of fire doesn't matter when every fucking tank on the enemy team is afraid of you, like this Pershing should be. Boom! 646 damage, tracked him. What do you think's gonna happen to him next? <laughs> yeah, I'm not done. Uh, let me reload, and I will say hello to you again, sir. Mm, sucks to be you. Match is over in one minute for him. Yep. And that's because I'm using this cannon with this ammo. Really, it is just fucking unfair. Hello, Mr. KV-1S. Do you like burning to death? No? Well, fucking sorry. <laughs> yes, the high uh, module damage is another factor on this tank. I mean, you're using high explosive ammo. You can track them, you can start their engines on fire, you can kill their commanders, gunners, drivers. Whatever the fuck you want to do to these people, this tank is very capable of doing it because of this ridiculous ammo. Now, I have played a few matches with my standard shells uh, only, and let me tell you something right now. That is the way it should be because they're frustrating enough that it's where it should be as a tank on at its tier. Uh, you're going to have bounces that you're like, oh, come on. And you're going to also have hits where you're like, yes, I took off half of his health. I feel really good about it. That's the way this tank should play. And, you know, that's how you should feel about most of the tanks in this game. You should actually take skill to shoot and drive the tanks. I mean, it, you can't just have this fucking 250 millimeters of penetration that's going to drop every fucking tank in the game that you shoot at with one shot. And, uh, like that. I mean... The VK-3601H is a pretty good tank. The Pershing is a good tank. And, to, uh, another thing to note, the Pershing is a tier higher than me. Uh, the KV-1S, of course I'm gonna shit on that, even with standard ammo. This IS didn't even know what the fuck happened there. Uh, just like the large majority of the, uh, tanks on the enemy team at this point that I've killed. But if you haven't noticed, three minutes into the game, four kills, uh, this ammo, good god. And I've only shot, uh, six shots? Yeah, six shots. I started with eight premium shells, and it's just, wow. Absolutely ridiculous. If I was the enemy artillery right now, I would be hunting me down. Uh, I was just spotted there, so I am moving around trying to, uh, you know, in case the artillery is looking for me, I'm trying to, uh, not give away my position or, or force a shot from him that would miss so that I would know he's trying to get me. Uh, but now I'm going to reposition, try to move forward and help these guys in the town out. Originally, I thought the guys down in the south had it. I mean, they look like they had it, but they just, uh, they start getting picked off one by one. And, you know, that's because a lot of the enemy team down there is, uh, being really effective and you know maybe they're just not having a good game can't really fault them uh the team split up pretty good i felt like so i'm you know this was a good team it's just when you put this tank the su-152 oh fuck that was a, that would have been a very cool shot uh unfortunately you know the, the accuracy on this tank is supposedly pretty bad but uh, i don't know from what i've seen so far i don't think so watch what happens to mr is3 <clears throat> that's what I'm talking about. And that's a heavily armored uh, tier 8 heavy tank. I mean, it shouldn't be that easy, especially with this gun. I mean, 135 millimeters of penetration probably should not have been able to make it through that IS-3, uh, even though I was trying to aim for his lower glacis, which I believe is a weak point. But still, it should not have been that easy. 
uh, with the bad accuracy and the bad penetration that this thing has, you would have had to have found another way to get through that tank. Uh, with the standard ammo, of course. With premium, you can just derp away however you want and get the kill. And I know it sounds like I'm very, very angry about this, and that's because I am. <laughs> uh, as I said in my last video, uh, anybody can drive this tank. Anybody can buy this ammo, and anybody can have a, a game like I'm having right now. This pretty much doesn't take any skill. And I hate to be so blunt and and to be such an asshole about it, but... Yeah, it's it's the truth. So now we're down to standard ammo. I'm not afraid to take shots, uh, blow away cover, or just shots that I think might hit. Check this out. This is the way it should go, though. T25-2 does here. not have very good armor. Uh, as you can see, the, the uh, shot flew a little bit slower because it was standard ammo. That's something I just recently realized is that premium ammo actually flies faster in the air than standard ammo most of the time which is something I, I didn't I was not very aware of uh, so you learn something new every day there you go and that's the type of hit that standard ammo should be doing that's what you should be seeing standard ammo doesn't explode like the premium ammo does and you know uh, splash damage him to death that's how this tank should perform and I, it just helps make it a little bit more fair and if you're going to give me the side of your turret, I'm going to take that shot. And yeah, that's going to kill you. So uh, just keep that in mind that you gave the side of your turret to the enemy on the team with six kills. Well, five at the time. Ah, uh, damn it. Had I just been... Uh, well, I probably wouldn't have beaten that IS-3 out anyway. So yeah, there you go. The SU-152. Once again, another match showcasing just how overpowered this premium ammo is. And... If you thought this match was bad, I've got one more for you that's just going to... Yeah. <laughs> let's just say you'll be angry at the end of that one. Anyway, let's go to the after battle results screen and see how much I actually made off of this match or didn't make. All right, so there's another Top Gun in this beast of a tank with that 152mm cannon. You'll have to forgive me for using the premium ammo. Uh, I'm just trying to get out of this horrible stock gun grind and getting 18,000 experience and then another 21,000 experience. I am not really interested in bouncing those shots, uh, especially when you have an over 16 second reload on this beast of a cannon. I know it's more than 16 seconds uh, and you definitely feel it. Um... So yeah, you'll have to forgive me for that, but still had a great match. Uh, paid little mind to the amount of money I made. That was a mission. I think it was due 50,000 worth of damage, and you get a certain amount of credits. So what I actually made was 66,894 credits, 2,242 experience, not doubled. So that was not the first victory of the day. Uh, I just made that just dominating and kicking ass in that match. Mastery Badge, Ace Tanker, and Top Gun. The IS-3, we critted his driver. Indian Panzer destroyed the track. Pershing destroyed the track. IS destroyed the radio. KV-1S knocked out the radio. Destroyed the fuel tank and the track. On the 3601H, we injured the loader. Team score, 5,228 damage done. Holy shit. <laughs> now that is a lot of damage. Six kills, 1,495 experience earned with Top Gun as my battle merit. The IS-3 on our team got a steel wall, and the Yag Panther on their team got Sniper. Twelve shots fired, nine of them were direct hits, nine of them were penetrations, 5,228 damage done. I didn't get shot once, uh, and my end result uh, was 286,055 credits. But, you know, like I said, that wasn't really what I would have made for the match. So there you go. Another match in the SU-152. This one I won, and I'm quite proud of it. If you like the video, leave me a like, and if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Take it easy, gents.